<laughs> hey guys, if you want to score brownie points with me, if anybody knows how to change the settings to make the video go longer than an hour, I would love it if you happen to know that. Again, just like on the practice test, actually on the practice test, who wanted to blank off the yes. On the practice number six, that's exactly the kind of setup I love. I give you a normal z-score problem, then I say, now we take a group of people, and then I ask you the same probability questions. If you get the same answers for those two, you're wrong. Because the minute I take a sample, what changes? Standard, Standard deviation. Right, if you take a sample and ask about the sample mean, I've got to change the standard deviation. Therefore, my z-scores are going to change. Therefore, my areas are going to change. If everything comes to the middle, there's less stuff out here. So this part one, I'm taking one person, not a sample. Just I'm taking one person out of the population. This is a normal, classical z-score problem. I give an x, make it into a z, look up the area. Right? So if you want to, you can draw a little picture. What goes right in the middle? 100. And then the point I'm interested in is 91. And which way do I shade? Down. Down. Less than, right? Cool. So that's the area that I want. Of course, I can't look up 91 in the z-score chart. I need a z-score. So how do you change that into a z-score? I like it. So 91 minus 100. Over something. <laughs> this is cool. Over 15. There you go. So you get negative 0.6. How are we doing? Don't forget to. Don't, don't let this be a problem. If you put this all in at once, make sure you do this. Otherwise, your calculator is seeing this, which says subtract this from 91. That's not what you want. You want this, don't you? So do not let calculator error kill you. Get a z score of 87, I think something might have gone wrong there. That's what I'm trying to say. Does everybody get negative 0.6 for that? Yeah. Whoever's playing along at home. What do you get when you look that up in the z score chart? 0 0.2743. Yeah. I like it. So then that means that what percentage of people, or what's probably that person is less than 91 IQ? 27.43%. Or you can leave it as a decimal, that's fine. Just make sure I can find your answer, okay? I have a bunch of numbers all over the place and go, well, you see the answer. No. <laughs> Box it off so I know which one you think is the answer. So part two, the work is going to be just about the same. What's the very first thing I have to do? You got to change it. Exactly. I took a sample, and I'm asking about the sample mean. Those two things together tell you, oh, I've got to change the standard deviation. I can't use this standard deviation because that's good for individuals. I've got to find the one that works for groups of 11 people. So I take the old one, divide by the square root of the sample size, 15 over square root of 11, like 4.818. What is it? 4.52. 4.52. Nobody's 
saying anything otherwise. So we'll go with that. Sounds about right. So when you want to change it, all you do is take the old standard deviation and divide it by the square root of the new. The sample size. The sample size. Exactly. That'll be the standard deviation that works for groups of this big. So if I took a group of 18, it's going to get even a little smaller because I'm going to divide now by square root of 18. I'm okay. going to divide by a little bit bigger. This is going to get closer to the mean. And that jives with what we know. The bigger the sample, the closer to the mean my sample should be, right? So that's a, that's a good showing of math mimicking what we know <coughs> should happen. So now all the steps are the same. There's 91. Oh, there's 100. There's 91. But now when I go to make my z-score, I divide by 4.523. So the explanation, I don't know if you guys remember the explanation for why this happens. It took a long ass time. But the nuts and bolts of what you do, very simple. It's going to be like 1.9. What is it? 1.9? Yeah, negative nine divided by four and a half is going to be roughly negative two, a little bit less. Ninety-nine. So negative one point nine nine. Negative one point nine eight nine nine. Yep. Well, negative two then, but you always round to how many places? Two places. For z score, of course, because the z score chart only goes out two places. So if you look at negative one nine nine. What's your z-score to say for that? Z-score chart? That's your head to that? 0.0233. 0.0233. Very quick. This was a lot bigger. This is 27%. Why is there only 2% out there now? Because when I take a sample, where does the data go? Close to the mean. So there's less stuff out here. You know this number should be smaller. Cool. All right. I'm always hopeful. <laughs> See you guys later. They should. So if something's not right. Yeah, because I have quiz one at an 81. I think this ah, is my original. Yes.